Hi, hello children. How are you all? Welcome back to my class. Today in this class, we are going to start your new lesson of maths that is division. So, open page number 93. Page number 93, chapter number 6, division. So, today in this class, we are going to study about the new lesson that is division. So, let's start this lesson with a new concept that is Division by grouping equally. So, a Karan has 12 balls. He distributes these equally to his four friends Ram, Gopal, Ashok and Raju. Now, how many balls each one get? So, the Karan is having 12 balls. He need to distribute these 12, ball, 12 balls equally to his four friends. Now, we have to see that how many balls each one will get. Okay. So, he distributes one ball to each of his friends. You can see. So, he distributes one ball to each of his four friends. Now, how many balls remains with Karan? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 balls remains with Karan. Right. Again, the Karan distributes one more ball to each of his four friends. You can see. 1, 1, 1, 1. It will become 2, 2, 2, 2. Right. Now, how many balls remains with Karan? 1, 2, 3, 4. Yes. Now again Karan distributes one more ball to each of his friends. Here you can see. Right. Now how many balls remains with Karan? Nil. In the sense nothing is remain with the Karan. So here you can see each friend of Karan has 3, 3 balls. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. Right. So 12 balls can be distributed into 4 groups of 3, 3, 3 balls. Yes, in each group. So, the process of classifying or distributing the things equally is called division. The process classifying or distributing the things equally is called division. Understood children? Now, let us see what is the sign of division. So, children, now tell me. What is the sign of addition? Yes, this plus is a sign of addition. Whereas, this is the sign of subtraction. And this is the sign of multiplication. Right? Now, what is the sign of this division? So, this is the sign of division. Here you can see. Yes, this is the sign of division. Okay? So, by using this sign, division sign, the above process means these 12 balls can be written as 12 divided by 4 is equal to 3. So, it will be read as a divided by. So, 12 divided by 4 is equal to 3. Okay. So, later on, we will come to know how this 3 will come. Okay. Understood? Children, open page number 98, exercise 6.1. Divide the following by repeated subtraction. Okay. So, what is this repeated subtraction? Children, division is the repeated subtraction or simplest form of subtraction is division. Okay. And division is repeated subtraction of the same number from the given number. Okay. So, let us do an example to understand these statements in the better way. So, here you can see 20 divided by 4 is equal to dash. Right. We have to write the answer here. So, what we have to do here you can see we have to write the 20 minus 4. Repeated subtraction. Okay. So, divide the following by repeated subtraction. So, here 20 minus 4 is equal to how much? 16. Next we have to write this 16 here. Then minus 4. Again we have to minus this answer with the 4 is equal to 12. Again take down this 12 here. Next minus 4 is equal to 8. Again take this 8. 8 minus 4 is equal to 4. 4 minus 4 is equal to 0. Right? We have to subtract till we get the answer 0. Okay? So here Therefore, 20 divided by 4 is equal to 5. How this 5 comes here? See, how many times we have divided this one? 1. I mean, how many times we have repeated the subtraction here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 times we have repeated the subtraction. Right. So, here 
20 divided by 4 is equal to 5. Okay, understood. Now you can say that division is the repeated subtraction or simplest form of a subtraction is a division or and division is repeated subtraction of the same number. Yes, division is repeated subtraction of same number from the given number. Understood children? Let us take another example. 18 divided by 3 is equal to how much? Okay, so 18 minus 3 is equal to 18 minus 3 is 15. Okay, we will take this 15 here. 15 minus 3 is how much? 12. Okay, 12, we will take this 12 here. 12 minus 3 is how much? Yes, it's 9. We will take this 9 here. And 9 minus 3 is 6. We will take this 6 here. 6 minus 3 is 3. We will take this 3 here. 3 minus 3 is 0. So, how many times we have subtracted here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, we will write here 6. So, therefore, 18 divided by 3 is equal to 6. So, answer is 6 here. Understood children? So, division is repeated subtraction of the same number from the given number. Understood? Okay, in the same way, you try to solve it by yourself here. In page number 93, the second and the page number 99, you are having 3 and 4th one. Okay, try to do it by yourself. Now children come to the page number 100. So the next concept is relation between multiplication and division. Okay, let us see what is the relationship between the multiplication and division. So let's take one example. So see here, this is example 6 into 8 is equal to 48. So this is the multiplication fact as you know it, right? So 6 eights are 48. This is a multiplication fact. So now you have to find the division facts for this multiplic multiplication fact. Okay, there will be a two division facts. How I will show you. So first we have to write the 48. This is a product. This is a multiplicand multiplier product. Yes, do you remember this? This number is called multiplicand. This is a multiplicand multiplier, and this is called the product right so first we'll write the product here 48 divided by we'll take this multiplicand first 6 is equal to when we divide 48 by 6 we'll get the answer 8 so that is the multiplier here yes so you can see this is 8 and this is also 8 right so this is the first division fact okay next comes the second one we'll take this product only divided by will take the multiplier because already we have taken the multiplicand first then you have to take the multiplier so when you divide 48 by 8 you will get the answer 6 so 6 is the multiplicand here here you can see when you divide 48 this is product 48 divided by 6 will get the multiplier so when you divide this 48 divided by 8 it is a multiplier so we'll get the multiplicand here right so this is the division facts understood children so let us take some examples to understand it the page number 101 write the division facts for each of these here is it is in the form of multiplication facts right can you see this yes it is in the form of multiplication facts so you have to write these into division facts okay here one is done for you you can see here 8 into 5 is equal to 40 8 5 is a 40 so 40 product will write here Divided by, first we have to write the multiplicand 8 is equal to 48 divided by 8 is equal to 5. This is a multiplier. Okay, next we will take the product divided by, we take the multiplier. multiplier. So, when you divide 40 by 5, the answer will be your multiplicand 8. Yes, so in the same way, let us take another example. 7 into 3. 7, 3 is a how much? 21. Right, we will write here 21. So, we will write this 21 here, divided by, yes, now tell me, 
which number I have to take? Yes, 7. Okay, we will take this 7 divided by 7 is equal to our answer should be multiplier first. So, we will write here 3. Next form, we will write this product divided by what I have to take now? Yes, 3. Yes, so we will write 3 here is equal to now what I have to write? This 7 multiplicand. Right? So, next let us take another example. 6 into 3. 6 9. Sorry. 6 into 9. Yes. Can you see the 6 into 9? So, 6 9s are how much? 54. Right? So, we will write 54 here. Divided by. First, we have to write multiplicand. 6. And we will get the multiplier. That is 9. Next, I have to write this. Product divided by 9 is equal to the answer will be multiplicand 6. Understood? In the same way, just try to do it by yourself. Okay, children?